everyone! Today I'm going to be giving a brief tutorial on how I put spikes into my wigs. First things first, before we jump into the actual how-to, I want to touch on a couple things. To start, the type of wig you use will affect the end result. The thinner your wig is, the less full your spikes will be. The type of top on your wig will also affect the result. If it has a large skin top, you may have to fight the hair more to get it to go in the direction you want it to. However, that being said, you can still make some pretty crazy hairstyles happen regardless of what wig you choose to use. So to prove this, I'm using a cheap $15 wig I bought back in 2011 for this tutorial. To begin spiking, I like to take my teasing brush and begin back combing. You can use a fine tooth comb as well, but I highly recommend a teasing brush if you plan to do this a lot. It will cut your time in half, if not more. Next, I begin smoothing the outside of my spike with a fine tooth comb. You want to leave the inside gnarled up so it has some stability, but you want the outside to look clean. When you're done with smoothing, it's time to hairspray. Hold your hairspray about 8 to 10 inches away and lightly spray the base of your spike while holding it in the shape and direction you want. Then you're going to take your hair dryer on low heat while still holding it and dry your spray into place. This will set your spike and make it so that it stands straight up. Next, you're going to trim off the extra hair at the top by cutting downwards into your spike. This thins out the top so it's easier to bring your hair together and get it super pointy. Once you've trimmed it to your desired length, spray a light amount of hairspray at the top of the spike, pinch it together, and use your hair dryer to set it. Then last but not least, if you want to make sure your spikes stay more securely, you can use spiking glue, or as I like to use, clear tacky glue to seal the tips. All you're going to do is simply twist the top of the spike between your fingers and you're done. Trim any stray hairs at the top and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you with your own wig styling adventures. 